Hello guys, today we are going to be cooking osobuco on the griller for the dinner. Uh, let's try to keep it simple. Right now we're going to use uh, just salt and pepper. A little bit of garlic. And that's it. Let's take it to the grill. We're going to try just to seal the meat outside and then you guys are gonna see the rest in a couple minutes later si te está gustando el video no olvides suscribirte, activar la campanita y darle like Okay guys, at this moment, we just want to seal the meat outside and let the steak take that smoky flavor. But now we're going to do the fun part. We're going to do the uh, second step. So I already have all these vegetables cut and prepared. We're going to use a whole onion. We're going to try to make a bed for the meat. Okay, just like that. Then we're gonna put the bell peppers. I try to put uh, half garlic in the bottom and half garlic in the top. And a little bit of onion. Now we're gonna put the potatoes. Same, I'm gonna try to put at least half. More than half. Don't forget your beer. That is how it looks. That's the bed for the meat. Okay, now we're gonna put the meat, the osobuco, if we can fit everything in. <laughs> That's how it looks so far. And then I'm gonna just to try to put the rest on the top, the garlic. It's gonna be delicious, guys. You can imagine it. Because now we're gonna leave this to rest over there on the grill again, but we're gonna try to leave it for one hour or 45 minutes. And it's gonna be amazing. What I'd like to do at this point, I like to put first the dry seasoning, um, just a little bit of rosemary, then bay leaf, at least two small or one big, put it on the bottom, then a little bit of paprika. And the best part. Uh, then we're gonna put the tomato dice, a whole can. Then I'd like to use at least a half of chili. You don't have to do it, but I like it. Si te está gustando el video, no olvides suscribirte, activar la campanita y darle like.
looks like somebody is hungry or waiting for the meat. Yaru? Are you hungry? Then, don't forget to use your prego. It's gonna be the Italian sauces and garlic tomato sauce. I'm gonna use just a little bit, not too much, like the whole jar. <laughs> it's already smelling delicious and it's not done yet. Okay guys, I use the rest of the onions. And we're gonna try to cover the top with the aluminum foil. <laughs> Don't forget your wine. I just like to add a little bit right now, and when it's boiling, I add a little bit more. Okay guys, cover pretty good all the steam and all the uh, water and juice is gonna stay inside and then put it back on the griller the trick here is to try to have at least two areas on your griller try to have one hot area and one area where you can leave uh, or put it on the side when it's too hot so you don't burn your meat okay guys and that's how it looks like when it's done it's gonna be super tender and you can enjoy this with rice or bread Let's do the test. And that's it guys. That is how it looks like. Let's enjoy and do the test. Okay guys, the moment of the truth. Oh, delicious, super tender. I really recommend it. And if you can put a bread in the oven, it could be better. Okay guys, see you later.